Join me in the spooky autumn forest. We must be careful not to bump into any Norwegian trolls. I will bring you on a journey through the eerie morning fog, and I will share with you something meaningful and personal about myself. It was a spooky autumn morning. The air was crisp, yet moist. The fog was so intriguing, I had to go outside and explore the nearby lake. The atmosphere was trollsk, a Norwegian word that translates to magical. Trollsk stems from the word troll. Trolls are believed to be mythical creatures, derived from Nordic folklore. It is said, if they see the sunlight, they will turn to stone. To this day, trolls remain an integral part of Norwegian culture, and I love fairy tale stories. The lake was completely still. It was quiet, peaceful, no wind. Just the hazy morning sun, peeking its light through the thick fog. It was as if time were in slow motion as I continued my walk and observed my surroundings. Sometimes we need a foggy morning to remind us not everything in life is in full spectrums of color. There are many shades of gray. The casting shadows make the light so special. I enjoy the mysterious fog, even if it only stays for a short time. The sun's rays warm up the mist and unveils all of the colors of the day. No two people are the same. No two brains are alike. One may say I am different only because they do not understand me. Maybe I long to be like you, normal. But what is normal exactly? I feel things on a different level. My senses are enhanced. Touch, feel, smell, taste, hear. I see you, but do you see me? Sometimes I feel overwhelmed. I like to say overstimulated. Complete sensory overload. It could be good feelings filling me with euphoric thoughts of light, or bad thoughts 
sending me straight into the basement. I lock myself away, not strong enough to face the outside world. You ask me, why are you so different? Why can't you just function like everybody else? Hard to explain. If I had been in a wheelchair and you see my broken legs, you know I have pain. Thankfully, I am not in a wheelchair. My legs do work. But I have challenges you cannot see. I may look put together and that often catches people by surprise. Mentally, I am different. And that's just fine. I'm me. Diversity is needed in this society, or else it would be a very boring place. Sometimes it's not easy to find your way. If you feel like you're an outsider, take your time to stop and observe. There isn't a soul on this earth that doesn't have a burden to carry. The most put together person may look so on the outside, but inside, he or she is struggling. Heartache, illness, money troubles, the list goes on. But for some reason, mental health is taboo. I have bipolar disorder. Wait, is this scary? Does that make me a bad person? Of course not. And in one way, I look at it as a gift because I am blessed with a creative mind. True, I may be a little eccentric, somewhat of a nutty professor, but I have a kind heart and I only desire peace and harmony in the world. My outlet is art and my inspiration is nature. I am so eternally grateful to have it right outside my doorstep. I am open about my bipolar diagnosis. I hope by sharing my inner thoughts, I can help others that may be struggling with a mental illness. It is possible to live a good, happy life. Remember who you are, who you were, who you want to be. Love yourself, others, life. Live long, happy, fully. Listen to your parents, to your siblings, to yourself. Care about others, about yourself, about the world. Speak your mind for others, for yourself. Cry tears of joy, of sadness, of love. Change is okay, is needed, is life. Laugh often, loud, freely. Be yourself, strong, happy. 
You will be seen, will be heard, or loved. Remember, love, live, listen, care, speak, cry, laugh, be you. I just wanted to say thank you so much for watching this video. If you have any feedback for me or questions, just send me a message in the comments section. I also wanted to take the time to talk about my web shop, uh, where you're able to purchase my artwork. And it's pretty fun because it's not just prints, it's t-shirts and hoodies and uh, coffee cups and aprons for the cook at home, um, baby onesies, and all kinds of cool products that have my artwork on them. The link to my web shop is in the description, so please check it out. Hope you like it. I'm always happy to hear from you. Hope you have a wonderful day, and I'll see you again soon.